Hello, some sort of uh, new trailer here. Um, missing bit. Ignore that. Basically, it's a silage trailer. Um, it's got big wheels. It's got one 710. Oh no, two 710s. If you come on this side, I'm just doing some lighty things because it's missing, missing them. Yeah, seven tens that side. Where are we on this side? Oh, seven ten. Seven hundred. Okay, so it's got three seven tens and one seven. I don't know why they're different. They look the same tread wise. Big round things. Um, yeah, that stick out quite wide from the rest of it. Uh, it is big. Could probably do with a back. You know, I think normally they've got a fabric bit over there when they're, you know, real. Um, it was cheap, you'll be surprised to know. Um, wood, wood is there, well, and this fucking, that's like a fucking car rim, uh, is because the mer previous man used it to dry wood. Um, he loaded it up with IPCs of wood, put a tarpaulin over the top, um, boarded up the front so the hot air couldn't escape and basically just piped in hot air out of a digester to dry dry wood as you can see we've got some free wood too um yes needs a little attention uh someone at some point has done bang things um but i need to put lights on yeah it's very large um the wood's not too-ish, bad-ish, I say, as I look at the point, it's gone all scooby-whippy. Brakes work, um, you know, say no lights really, well there was a light lead, but it's all a bit shagged. I've run a new lead along, there is a lead there, but it's, it was fucked at this end, cut off at that end, by the time you join both places you've just got weak spots. Um, I don't know what size it is, it just says Bottinger Duro. Um, there is a plate, but it doesn't really say. I don't even know what year. Don't know what year it is. Um, if anyone knows what year it is that they come on fucking odd tyres, let me know. There's a plate. Uh, max weight twenty tons. Uh, I take it that means the thing's only two tons. It doesn't weigh very much at all, even though it is massive. Oh, is that the size Type F? No, so five, five, four. I oh know five, one hundred, fifty, one hundred, whatever the size that is. Maybe I have to look that up. It doesn't actually say year. It's just old, really. Big old thing. Um, it's got a hydraulicy drawbar. It does lift it like hell. You can lift the front wheels off the ground when it's empty. Don't always like loaded. Haven't done that yet. Uh, probably want to take a wood away because otherwise you can't see in to see where you're um, ejecting. Oh, bit, of a, bit of a pointless light <laughs> just shines on wood but yeah um, some spools brakes, yeah brakes like I say they work, I don't know I think is this sprung drawbar in us? Uh, where does this all go? does this loop back round? oh that goes up into there, what's that to? maybe it's sprung? Sure. Yes, this this pipe goes to that accumulator, so maybe it's even slightly sprung drawbarry. I know if you leave it unhitched for a bit, the uh, drawbar just goes boop, down on the floor. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's see what we can do about lighting. Um, it is it is very large. It's also very high. <laughs> it's quite long. I oh, also, if you know, if you count the sections, two, three, four. Five for at the middle, and well, no, not wherever. Basically, you'll find there's more trailer this side than that side. So, um, yes, it's going to be an absolute pig to pull around, even though it'll float like float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Um, yes, it will sting like a bee because tractor are not going to have any weight on it. Um, I know you can move the drawbar, so technically, then you're at the middle points there if you lift the front right up, but I don't know. 
to say the least. Yeah, it could at some point really do with um, putting a fucking sign inside on the back. <laughs> but, oh well. Let's see what we can do with it. Yeah, I've run cable down along here now. Um, this is old cable. I've run the new one up, down out of there. I just need to run it in and put lights. I've got some lights, some fancy ones. Um, soggy. But yeah, finish the lights and we can look at the floor. It's even got a little. Oh. Hello. Go away. Mm. Uh, yeah. There was a hole in the floor somewhere. It's not too bad, I don't think so. Is it there? No, somewhere. Anyway. Okay, I've done some research. The 5100, which this Navy apparently is. As is a 51 cubic meter capacity when you load through the bottom, so it's compressed. But as standard E fills from up there, it is 35 cube. I don't really know what that equates to. As well, maybe I'll look that up. Will it say? I'll look that up, see what tonnage it is. Okay, best guess on conversion it's 30, not 35 cubes, 30.5 cube. Which is about 15 tonne, I think. That's how big it is. If we could fill that hole then, maybe it would be more. <laughs> Super cubit, lean that forwards. But yeah, that's about what it is. Um, yeah, 15 tonne of sat on your ass, because there's no weight on the tractor. Got some bloody fancy lights, but I'm not sure about wiring, because it's got... I can get it on. No, mirror has fallen off. Neat trick, use a Milwaukee M12 battery for your twit. There you go, look. Fancy. Only trouble is that requ requires a constant power to make it do that. Otherwise, it would do like, I'm guessing it'll only, yeah, it'll do like part of a, maybe, maybe. Look at that, 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 I reckon. Don't know. Or you've got, there is an alternative wire, the purple one. This is like a handy way of figuring out which wire does what, so you know all the colours are going to be funny. Oh, come on, Earth. Nope, not happening. But basically, there's just normal indicator on, off, on, off, on, off. Like that. See, on, off, on, off. On, off, on, off. Also, not sure if we'll be able to wire this in. There is. Yeah. Come on, you bastard. If we can get it. Come on. One handed is awkward. Come on. There's a reversing light. No. Yeah. It's not silly bright, but I mean, at least hopefully people will get out of the way when you slap her in reverse. Yeah, right. Hazards. Okay. Side lights. Brake lights. Yeah, lovely. Side lights off. Just brake lights. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes. He's bending. enough grease nipples on the front are uh, running through oil pipes one was touching the slats over there i was just zipped out of the way it went back then i look back and it's like oh wait it's not an oil pipe it's a bloody grease pipe but um yeah they're just as they're wound right up this one chain's still a bit slack he's tight he's still got thread both the outer ones have got thread left oh I need to lock him and 
the middle two are all the way used up. The one on the right, big left on the back, is tight tight. The other one is not so much. But hopefully it'll be okay. Um, yeah, I'm certainly amazed that the brakes have all got uh, springs on them too. So it's grease up as well and uh, nearly done. Easy and low. is pretty good. See that uh, that. That'd be that tailboard with the scoot with, that he? Yeah. So good. Lovely. Good up. Pretty much functional. Yeah, look, 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 look. Uh, uh, the front wheels are not even on the ground. <laughs> you more or less tip it out, look, can't see the floor anymore. Or just. Yes. It is certainly something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's something. <laughs> 